Republican side, uh, and a lot of your guests were probably very intrigued by the fact that there's a candidate who's still winning who's called for a ban on Muslims and significant segments of the population in America agree Intrigued with, is an interesting way of putting it. Struck, well, well, what was their reaction? That's, that's one of my five questions. Um, uh, but but I, the, the I, point is- Ron, the, let's the, stick to two. The point is, uh, in the past you've explained that as anger, resentment, yeah. insecurity, economic insecurity. And the question is, how much responsibility do you accept for that reservoir of feeling in the country that's propelling that sort of candidate? And a couple of weeks ago, you told Matt Lauer that Donald Trump would not win the presidency. Mm -hmm. Do you now think that he will not win the nomination as well? And what about Rubio and what about Cruz? Uh. I think uh, foreign observers are troubled by uh, some of the rhetoric that's been taking place in these Republican primaries and Republican debates. I don't think it's restricted, by the way, to Mr. Trump. I mean, I find it interesting that everybody's focused on Trump primarily just because he says in more interesting ways what the other candidates are saying as well. And so, he, so he may up the ante in anti-Muslim sentiment, but if you look at what the other Republican candidates have said, that's pretty troubling too. He may express strong anti-immigration sentiment, but you've heard that from the other candidates as well. You, you've got a candidate who sponsored a bill that I supported to finally solve the immigration problem, and he's running away from it as fast as he can. They're all denying climate change. I think that's troubling to the international community, since the science is unequivocal. And, you know, the other countries around the world, they kind of count on the United States being on the side of science and reason and common sense, because they know that if the United States does not act on big problems in smart ways, nobody will. But this is not just Mr. Trump. Look at the statements that are being made by the other candidates. There's not a single candidate in the Republican primary that thinks we should do anything about climate change, that thinks it's serious. Well, that's a problem. The rest of the world looks at that and they says, how can that be? Uh, I'll leave it to you to speculate on how this whole race is going to go. Uh, I continue to believe Mr. Trump will not be president. And the reason is because I have a lot of faith in the American people. And I think they recognize that being president is a serious job. It's not hosting a talk show or a reality show. It's not promotion. It's not marketing. It's hard. And a lot of people count on us getting it right. And it's not a matter of pandering and, 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 and doing whatever will get you in the news on a given day. And sometimes it requires you making hard decisions even when people don't like it and doing things that are unpopular and standing up for people who are vulnerable but don't have some powerful political constituency. And it requires being able to work with leaders around the world uh, in a way that reflects the importance of the office um, and gives people confidence that you know the facts and you know their names, and you know where they are on a map, and you know something about their history. And you're not just going to play to the crowd back home because they have their own crowds back home, and you're trying to solve problems. And so, yeah, during primaries, people vent, and they express themselves, and it seems like entertainment, and oftentimes it's reported just like entertainment. But as you get closer, Reality has a way of intruding. 
And these are the folks who, who I have faith in, because they ultimately are going to say, whoever's standing where I'm standing right now has the nuclear codes with them and can order 21-year-olds into a firefight and have to make sure that the banking system doesn't collapse and is often responsible for not just the United States of America, but 20 other countries that are having big problems or are falling apart and are going to be looking for us to do something. And the American people are pretty sensible. And I think they'll make a, a, a sensible choice in the end. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.